Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we are looking at the GSI Outdoors Glacier Canister Camping Stove here at eTrailer.com. Now this is a camping stove you might be interested in if you're looking for something that balances light weight, portability, as well as efficiency. So if you're cooking for a large group or if a bunch of you are going camping or hiking and you want to be the one that gets the dinner onto the table, this might work out for you. The weight of this stove is 5.9 ounces. It is five inches long and five inches wide. That's something to keep in mind in case you are counting the ounces in your pack and you don't wanna pack anything too heavy. While this does work for solo trips, if you wanna go out on a solo hike, this is designed to be used for larger pots or larger pans. That way, if you do have up to five inch wide pots and you wanna create something for the group, this has the space for it. On the top, we have sturdy support arms with serrated edges, and these can accommodate pots of up to five inches wide. This has a wide reaching burner. You can see how they have holes on the sides, and this is designed to help spread that heat evenly on those larger pans. The microcontrol valve is right here on the bottom, so this pops out. It has a tab holding it in, and then from here you can twist it to control the amount of fuel you're pushing out of your burner. One thing about this is I do see this becoming an issue over a longer period of time since you do have that metal against metal contact on the edge, so you are gonna be careful about not accidentally ripping this all the way out and control it as it is. Since it is a micro control valve, you're gonna need to use control when you do use it. The first thing I thought when I first held this is that it does kind of have sharp edges, so I was worried about how I was gonna transport it, but that's okay because it does come with this stove bag. So you just pop that in there and then pull that drawstring shut, and that allows you to transport the stove without having to worry too much about damaging it or this damaging your belongings. This is designed to be used with a fuel canister, which is not included, so buy one separately. And let's take a look at how to properly install it. First, pop off your cap off of your fuel canister, then get your stove into position. That's gonna require you pushing this out and then turning it clockwise to make sure it is shut and then screw it onto that canister. Now do this very carefully as you are gonna hear some fuel escape as at first, right there. So keep turning until it is fully secured. Once it is fully secured and your control valve is in the closed position, then you are ready to start cooking. So let's see this stove in action. We'll turn on the gas and light it. There you go. With that started, we'll set our skillet on top. So far it's cooking very quickly. I do have to adjust right over here at the microcontrol valve. It's very important to have a flat and level surface as you do this or hold on to your pan as you cook. It hasn't taken too long for our egg to start cooking. So let's flip it over to cook the rest of it. As you can see, I very quickly fried myself an egg and I took some extra time to make some egg tacos for myself as well as some of my friends here at eTrailer. The stove itself is very efficient. It cooks very quickly. So if you and your friends are going out hiking or going out camping, cooking a group meal is a breeze. I noticed just after one afternoon of use, there's already discoloration on the stove as well as the support arms. That's fine since it is still as effective as it was before, but that is an aesthetic change. This has a BTU of 12,970, and what that means is the heat capacity or the heat output it can give. So if you have something with a higher BTU, you'll see that on your stoves. That shows how much heat or how hot it can get and how quickly it can get. So the higher the number, the more heat you get. 
Now we have some other canister stoves here at e-trailer, so I'm gonna put them to the test. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna boil two cups of water on each of the stoves and see how fast it takes to get me some boiling water. Of course, this is different compared to other places because of altitude and other factors, but we're gonna have it in the right same place at the same time, at the same level, and let's see how it goes. So we're gonna set it up on there and start the timer. I have it set to medium fuel. Let's see how fast it boils. We're at a minute and a half in, and it looks like it's starting to simmer. It's just now violently boiling. That was four minutes and 45 seconds. It's at medium capacity right now. Let's start the timer. It just started really boiling, so let's turn that off right now. And we are at four minutes and 15 seconds. Now while this is really strong heat compared to let's say the GSI Outdoors Pinnacle, we did notice that the heat was being shot out on the sides of the stove, which means it took a little bit longer for this pot to start boiling. So that makes a difference in terms of how fast something can boil. It does depend on the pot you are using. My final thoughts about the Glacier stove is that this is a really strong stove. If you are looking for something that gives a lot of heat, this might be a really good option for you. It's so strong that even at the lower setting, when I had my pan on there, I can feel the heat where my handle was. And that might be something you're interested in. If you don't need that much energy or that much heat output, you might be interested in some of GSI's smaller stoves like the Pinnacle. But if you're cooking for a group, take a look at the GSI Outdoors Glacier cooking stove.